How's it going everyone? Gaz here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Y2K color halftone effect that you've probably seen in a lot of designs recently on Instagram or TikTok and it's actually not that hard to do yet looks really really good. So we're going to get straight into this tutorial. So first off what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to find an image that you want to turn into like a Y2K halftone. I found this on Pexels which is one of my favorite websites for stock photos. They're all commercially free to use so you can use them in your merch or your cover arts and not have to worry about any copyright or anything like that. And that's the main thing that I use it for. So once you've done this, you want to make sure it's rasterized. I just did that. I right clicked the layer and I clicked rasterize. And once that's done, you can go over to a properties panel and click remove background. I have properties currently on the right side of my screen. If you don't, you can go to windows and then you can select properties right here and it will come up with a little pop up for you. So now that you've got the image, this is the image we're going to be working with today. Uh, we're going to create a gradient map. So there's a little half circle down here in the layers panel. And if you click that, you can click gradient map. And once that happens in the properties tab that I was just talking about, you'll now see that you have this gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one right in the middle, which is going to be your midtones, and I want to turn that into a color. I'm thinking right now, something like pink, and looking at it, it looks good. So we're going to do this right now, and you're going to basically merge them down. So if you select both layers, you can press Control E to quickly merge your layers down. And then you're going to press Control J, which is duplicate. So now that you've got a duplicated layer, you're going to go over here at the top tab, filter, and then pixelate color halftone. It'll open up this pop up. You can choose the radius and like the screen angles for all of the colors. Um, I don't usually mess with that that much. So this is literally what the standard preset is. So it should be the same for you. However, this I do change. So I usually go with around about 10 because when you click on it, it will create this halftone effect on the image and as you can see right now it's quite kind of strong uh, you don't want it to be that strong you want it to be a little bit weaker than that so you can actually see what the image is so you can go over here to blending modes and you can just search through these I usually just scroll through them and if one of them pops out to me I use that and overlay right now is the one that's popping out to me so you'll select overlay and then you'll have this effect. It will be like just a slight half tone uh, in the shadows and in the uh, lights as well. So now you've got that, you want to go back to your base layer and you're going to want to duplicate that again and drag it to the top. And then over here in the filter tab again, you're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur. This is where you can really mess around. Uh, you want a slight blur to the image because this is what is going to create that Y2K glow. So I usually choose around about 8 pixels, 9 pixels. It really depends on the size of your document that you're working in. But I usually work in 3000 by 3000 and that's around about what I usually pi uh, pick. So once you've got that blurred, you're going to go back over to blending options and you're going to choose lighten or screen. Whichever one you think looks better. For this, I think Lighten is going to look good. It's got that nice little glow as you can see here. Kind of just makes it that Y2K feeling. I really like this so far, but we're nowhere near finished. That's a lie. We are kind of nearly finished. So what we're going to do now is go back to the base layer. And we're going to drag another one on top. And we're going to go back to Filter, Blur. And then we're going to do Motion Blur. So with this, again, it really doesn't matter too much. It's whatever your preference is, like the uh, amount of pixels. But I do suggest that you keep the angle on zero. That way that the blur is going to go like across your screen horizontally, which will make it look a little bit better than if it was going like at an angle. So I'm going to keep this at around about 22 pixels and click OK. And now we've done that, we go back over here to screen or lighten, whichever one you like better. But this time, I think I'm going to go with screen. And then now you have a easy Y2K halftone effect on your image. This can be 
used in many different cases. I use this on cover art sometimes uh, because with merch, this would become a little bit difficult for the printer to handle. Uh, unless you know a place that you can get it printed with multiple colors, uh, then, then it would be fine you can use this effect. However, for merch, what I do, I usually keep it to one to two colors. That way there's less things they can mess up at the print shop if you're going to get it printed at a print shop or if you're going to print it at home. If you have a screen printer or something, you're going to want to keep it one or two colors because that's a lot of work to screen print multiple colors like this. You're going to have to have a huge rig that's got all these different screens for the different separated colors and that's just going to be hell for you, I promise. So what you're going to want to do now is you can just merge it together and you've got the file that you can drag around, you can put it wherever you want. And I'm just gonna drag in the extra, or the first image that we put so you can see them together. But something that's cool about this is you can also do it for text. So let me delete that image now that I've shown you. So let's say I wanted to do Y2K in this kind of font. Well, not font, this uh, kind of style. So we're just going to drag it up because we don't really have a placement for it right now. We're just like messing around. So when it comes to text, I always think that like having one of these warp texts on them is just, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. You can change like the vertical distortion, make it a little stand out a little bit. And I think that looks a lot better than just the plain text. And then what I'm going to also do is just put these a little bit closer together. If you wanted to know how to do that to adjust the kerning of your letters, you go to the place that you want to either expand the gap or contract the gap, you'll hold, hold Alt and you will press the arrow keys. And that will allow you to add space in between each letter and basically make it look more visually appealing or cohesive together. And that's something that I do every day when I design. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to rasterize the type and you're going to want to add a gradient to it. Right here, I've got a preset for a like angle gradient. However, you don't need to do that. We're just going to go to the basics and we're going to do like a pink. We're going to color grab it from there. Then we'll do like a black and then we'll do a white. And then we'll go to linear. Hmm. Actually, we're going to put the pink in the middle. I don't know why I didn't think about that. The pink in the middle, then the black, or maybe not even black, just a darker. Yeah, something like that. Then it's got a nice little gradient and I'm going to offset it a little bit so it's not perfectly uh, horizontal because I feel like it makes it a little bit clunky, I guess is the word for that. So once you've done that, you're going to right click the layer again and you're going to rasterize layer style. And then you're going to duplicate it just like we did with the image. Click filter, pixelate, color halftone. For this, I think you'll want to do something a little bit lower, maybe like 10. And now look what it's done to that text. It's created a very textured type very, very quickly. And if you don't like that 100%, you can still go into the blending options and make it look a little bit nicer. And I think that looks pretty good like that. So you can merge them together, then control J. Not sure why my computer's dinging at me. Um, probably have something selected I didn't mean to. But you're going to do the same thing. So you're gonna go and duplicate the layer. You're gonna click blur, Gaussian blur, and then just add a little bit of a blur. And go over and click lighten. Then you're going to duplicate the base layer again, drag it on top, go to filter, blur, motion blur. And then just, I'm going to keep it the same actually. I want to see how this looks. And then you're going to go to either screen or lighten or I think lighten looks best there. It kind of just merges the uh, letters a little bit closer and just gives it that Y2K feeling. So you can now grab all of those three layers, control G to group them, and you now have a Y2 text layer, the Y2K text layer that you can edit uh, and put wherever you would like. And honestly, 
If it was me, I would put this overlapping, but then as you can see, you can't really see what's going on. Like it gets blurred together because there's so much of the same color. So what you could do is potentially add a stroke to this. I'm gonna make sure it's on the outside right here and we're going to click it white because I believe a small white layer will look fairly good. And actually, I forgot to do this first. We're gonna control E to merge that group together before you do that. Otherwise it's gonna have some weird like text things around the glow. And then you can just quickly do this, make it on the inside and add just a little bit of a white glow, which will allow you to just put this anywhere and you'll be able to see the Y2K name wherever you put it. If you put it, the pink on the pink, you'll still be able to see it. And yeah, uh, this has been the Y2K halftone tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if it helped, uh, I would love to see your projects that you use this in. I'm really excited to see like how certain people can use this effect to make different ideas that I don't have. So uh, if you make anything with this project, well, if you make a project with this, then make sure to send it to me on Instagram. It's at GVZZVH. I'll have that on screen because it is a little bit of a mouthful. And yeah, if you want another tutorial on anything, you can also leave that in the comment section below and I can get around to getting a tutorial done for that as well. But this has been Gaz. I hope you have a good day. Peace.